Welcome back to my channel. This is Nikki of Nikki's Homemade Crafts. Today I'm going to teach you how to crochet this plaid eyeglass case with a metal clamp. The perfect little gift. This pattern is part of a very special event called the Advent Calendar Crochet Along Volume 2. It has a mystery feature to it because you don't know which pattern I will be publishing each day. The entire event has 30 crochet patterns. 24 of them will be available free to view on my website. But again, you don't know which one. The 24 patterns will also be available in my membership at Free and Printer Friendly. You can also get those on Ravelry and Etsy as a PDF. All 30 crochet patterns include a video tutorial. If you want to get all 30 crochet patterns ad free and printer friendly, then get my ebook at the link down below in the description or my website. All 30 crochet patterns are last minute gift ideas. The entire event is sponsored by Premier Yarns. Now let's get started with today's quick crochet pattern. In order to get started, you need some cotton yarn. I'm using Premier's Cotton Sprout Worsted Yarn in the colors bright pink, magenta, and purple. You can totally use regular plaid colors. I'm just picking these ones just to mix it up a little bit. I'm also using a four millimeter hook, and you're gonna need one of these clamps here, metal clamps that you're going to sew on using some thread. Start with the bright pink color, chain 18. You're going to crochet the entire project using linked double crochet stitches. So you're going to insert your hook into the second chain from the hook, yarn over and pull through. That is your yarn over for the double crochet. Now insert your hook into the next chain, yarn over and pull through. Now you have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Now you're going to see that horizontal bar right there. You're going to insert your hook right there, yarn over and pull through. That is your yarn over for the linked double crochet. And now insert into the next stitch and finish it up like a double crochet. You're going to do two more linked double crochet stitches. During the last stitch, you're going to stop when you have two loops on your hook. So I made three full linked double crochet stitches and one unfinished one. Now grab the magenta, make a slip knot, and you're now going to pull it through to finish up the stitch and start a new color. So you're going to drop your bright pink and you can weave in here your ends at the same time. You're now going to insert your hook into the horizontal bar again, yarn and pull through, and go to the bottom chain and make another linked double crochet. We're going to make four of them and during the fourth one you're going to again switch back to the bright pink. So here's my unfinished fourth one. I'm going to drop my magenta and I'm going to pick up my bright pink. I'm going to carry my other yarns with me then finish that stitch with the bright pink and now continue on with the bright pink and keep doing what we just did. Do this for the entire round and then we're going to work on the opposite direction. So let me show you. At the end of the round during the last stitch you're going to switch again to the bright pink and now we're going to work on the other side of the chain. So you're going to turn your work slightly such that you can work on the other side. And you're going to continue using linked double crochet. You can still weave in your ends here at the same time. And it's always four stitches per color. Now you're going to slip stitch. Make sure you do that with the bright pink color. And now you're going to repeat that row one more time. Then you're going to switch colors to the purple and drop the bright pink. Once you have two rounds done with the bright pink and the magenta, everything is done and linked double crochet. There's no increases at this point here or decreases. 
Then you're gonna to switch to the magenta and purple, magenta, purple, and so forth. Then you switch for two rounds, then you switch back to the bright pink, magenta, and do that for two rounds, and then keep going back and forth until you have 14 rounds total. Now we're going to do some decreases. You're going to make decreases that look like this. I'm gonna show it to you on the other side so that it's even. So what we're going to do is we're simply going to decrease here at the edge on both sides. So we're just going to make some invisible linked double crochet decreases. I'll show you how those work. And then the center part here is going to look exactly the same. Make sure to carry your purple with you. So we're gonna start with a chain of two. You're going to insert your hook into the second chain from the hook and yarn over. We're now going to do a decrease. You're going to do a invisible decrease. So what you're going to do is you're going to insert your hook through two loops right here, which are the front loops of two stitches, yarn over and pull through, and now finish it up like a regular linked double crochet stitch. Now you're going to do two more. Remember that during the last one, you're going to switch colors. So two regular linked double crochet stitches and during the last one, you're going to switch and you're gonna carry the other color with you. So the magenta, you're switching here to purple and I'm going to continue that until I have two stitches left and then we're going to do another invisible linked crochet decrease. So let me do the regular linked double crochet stitches in those colors until I have that last one. I'll show you how to do that. So here I have two more stitches left and that's where we're going to do the decrease again. So insert your hook into the horizontal bar, yarn over and pull through. Now insert your hook through the two loops that are the front loops of the next two stitches, yarn over and pull through, and now finish it up like a regular linked double crochet stitch. Now fasten off, and now we're going to start over in the beginning, and we're gonna repeat this row, okay? So we're doing again a decrease in the beginning at the end with the same color. The reason we're not turning is because we want it to look the same all throughout. So reattach your yarn, so you pull your slip knot through the first stitch right here, then make two chains, insert your hook through the second chain from the hook, and now you're going to decrease over two stitches, so going through the front loops of those two stitches, yarn over and pull through, and finish it up like a regular linked double crochet. Now you have one more stitch right here, and during that last stitch, remember you're switching colors. So just like before, you're gonna carry your yarn with you and you're going to crochet regular linked double crochet stitches until you have two stitches left. Then you're doing another decrease. So here again, we have two stitches left and we're going to do a decrease. So insert your hook into the horizontal bar, yarn over and pull through. Now insert your hook through the front loops of the next two stitches, yarn over and pull through and finish it up like a regular length double crochet stitch. Again, fasten off. And now we're gonna start over in the front. And this time we're gonna do it with the bright pink. So chain two, insert your hook into the second chain from the hook, yarn over and pull through. And now you're going to do a decrease over the next two stitches. And remember, this is the last of those two. So you're going to do a change of color here. Again, make sure you carry your yarn with you. And now again, I'm going to do regular linked double crochet stitches until I have two stitches left. And that's when I'm going to do another decrease. The last decrease for this round here. And now it's going to look like this once you've finished. And you're going to repeat that process one more time on the other side. So we have two flaps. And now you need to weave in your ends because you're going to use some thread to sew this on. Now it's time to sew this on. I'm using some turf cord because it's stronger than cotton, but you can totally use cotton as well. Just make sure it's double layered or use some kind of thread that is strong that won't rip. Nylon is, a be is best for this. Then make sure you open this up. 
I know it makes noise now because I have a, a desk here. And you're going to lay this literally right on top. And you're now going to sew it through to the crochet. So simply go back and forth and sew it on. How you're going to sew it on is up to you. You can make lines. Usually I go back and forth and sew it through. So I'm going into like loops like this. So that way it's all nice and clean and it looks pretty. So all you're doing is pretty much going back and forth. So I'm going to the next stitch, pull this through, then going back one. And now I'm going to the following one, go through, go back. And now I'm going all the way around and making sure that my crochet is right behind it. And I'm also going to do this on the other side. And once you're done, it's going to look like this. It's super duper cute. You can open it up. You can put your glasses in there or whatever else you want to put in there. But it's sturdy and it's strong and it's super duper pretty. It makes a great gift as well. Be sure to like, comment and share this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on the bell to get a notification next time I publish a new video or go live. Now go ahead and watch the next video. I'm sure you want to. I'll see you next time. Bye.